So being able to swim around with these things is just, uh, a, a sharks is just a wonderful privilege. And the, and the best part about swimming with these sharks, is like we did with our friend Kathy, is she was able to learn that they're not the big scary monsters that people think they are, right? You know, so, so the good news is, is people have started to care enough about sharks because of these interactions that maybe we're gonna protect the sharks and not try to kill them anymore. Okay, maybe we're going to do that instead of f cut their fins off or not care if someone wants to do a shark uh, fishing contest to see get who gets the biggest shark. You know, we don't care about that. You know, well, m people do now. Bahamas actually just made it illegal to do fishing tournaments with sharks, uh, which is a new thing about two years ago. And many of the, and many places have stopped doing that. Even the Azores, where my father is from, and this blue shark lives, um, the blue sharks there have started coming back because they've stopped fishing for sharks around the Azores. You're not allowed to do that anymore. Okay, so this is a really big change, and it's made quite a big impact in the area with the blue sharks coming back. And of course, there's the great white sharks. You know, even people are starting to care about them. So these guys were the stars and jaws, right? Inspiring people to stay out of the water a number of years ago. Uh, now they're inspiring people to get in the water. So even where Jaws was filmed, everybody familiar with where Jaws was made, right? In Cape Cod, Massachusetts, you ever heard of that area? Well, Cape Cod, Massachusetts is a little video from YouTube, so I'll give you a second here. The, um, this was a shark that got beached in Cape Cod, Massachusetts two years ago. Let's see if I can figure out how to make the video go. Uh, let's see. How does it work when it's a YouTube video? <laughs> Uh, badly? Oh, thanks a lot for telling me. Now, now you tell me. Now you tell me. <laughs> okay. I might have to just tell you the story then. So the, uh, this shark actually was beached when it was hunting seagulls, believe it or not. Seagulls? That was an interesting uh, thing. Um, when the tide went out, and it's about a seven-foot juvenile shark, and right now there is a massive increase in the number of sharks in Cape Cod uh, due to a huge increase in the gray seal population there. And uh, 10 years ago, that shark would have been bludgeoned to death before anybody got there from the marine fisheries department. Okay, people were terrified of sharks. People were like, oh my God, they're going to destroy the economy here in Cape Cod if they come in. Uh, it, was, it was horrific for them, and they were adamant about hating these sharks. Okay, now, instead, the entire beach got together and poured water over the shark until the marine fisheries people got there to save the shark and then help tow the marine fisheries people tow it out to open water to save the life of the shark. That would not have happened 10 years ago. And it happened because people now know of the importance of these animals, how special they are, how incredible, how important they are into the, uh, in the ecosystem and ensuring a healthy ecosystem. So it's, it's a fantastic lesson. And in Galapagos, where sharks have long been protected, they're still pl very plentiful. Now, I was in the Galapagos for the first time 22 years ago, and I was there most recently a year and a half ago. And Galapagos, I'll tell you, everybody who hasn't been, Galapagos is better than ever, okay? It's just amazing. It's another marine protected area off the coast of Costa Rica, off the coast of Ecuador. Uh, and it's just incredible how much life there is there and how much you can enjoy fish life up close. It's incredible to see this. And Galapagos people, the community, has tried very hard to uh, protect that area. This is actually a, let's see if we can get it. Oops. No, I'm not having much luck with my videos here. Why is that not working? All right, John, why are my videos not working? Uh, there it is. There we go. I gotta get that little bar thing to show up, okay. These are dolphins, actually that are hanging out there. We see dolphins very often in the, in the Galapagos, which is wonderful. I want to show you the density of the fish life. Yeah, who doesn't get excited about dolphins, right? Who doesn't get excited about that? So let's see if we can do this. This just shows you a little bit of the density of the fish life. Oh my goodness. I'm having a heart, there we go. Sorry about that. It just doesn't want to show. Oh, eh, well. Oh, well. So technology isn't perfect, is it? We've learned that today. So the, uh, but these guys are, the fish life there is amazing. And the ama best part about it is that this is not the only type of 
environment like this, okay? So this is one of four, Galapagos is one of four Eastern Pacific archipelagos that are all remote islands off the coast of something. One of them is this Galapagos off of Ecuador, another one is Cocos Island off of Costa Rica, another one is Socorro or uh, Revilla Hejidos off of Mexico, and then this one is Malpelo off of Colombia, and it's the least dove, the least understood about them, and as a result, probably the one that's most at risk because it has the f one dive boat that goes out there. There's one liverboard that goes out there. It's a day and a half sail from Colombia, and the problem with that is that it's the only. There's one let ranger boat, and there's that boat to keep an eye out on things. So they try to do their best to do a very good job of monitoring things out there.